Kind of mix it up so that the earth and the sand is mixed. You see any big like rocks like that? Just so who wants to do a little mixing? Where where where'd you come from? Flat tires no good on a wheelbarrow. So um, now it's just a matter of mixing it up and uh, another another opportunity for some bodybuilding. There is a certain pleasure in just mixing it by hand. I mean, we did our whole house, mix it all by hand. And uh, now it's work. Uh, you can also, you know, some, you can hire somebody who needs a job. Does somebody, anybody won't feel like doing a little mixing? Yeah, I'll mix. Okay. The, uh, I actually did a method called the rubble trench foundation, okay. which uses about, uh, a fifth of the amount of concrete that you would normally use. The concrete has a lot of embodied energy in it, uh, in the in the fabrication process, and also in the uh, uh, trans transporting it from wherever it's made to your site. One bag of concrete, uh, just in the production of it, uses the equivalent of about three gallons of gas. So I try to use as little concrete in my work as possible. So I did a a rubble trench foundation, which is basically you, you, you dig a trench in the soil about this deep, and then you fill it with gravel. Then I did you I did make an eight-inch high concrete beam that I I formed on top of that gravel trench. You need a little more water in that, but you don't want it to get too soupy. Right. Do it uh, in increments. Uh, I would say, let's see if it all gets to be. Know, kind of like this. That's good. That's what you want. Yeah. Okay. You don't want it to just run, run away. You want it to have some substance. Jeez, We're just do, going to do what they did at the uh, the Taos Pueblo, for instance, and many other very ancient adobe structures, which is they just laid their adobes right on the ground. You may get some erosion at the bottom, and traditionally, you know, every year, um, like at the Taos Pueblo. They just go along and, you know, if there's some erosion at the bottom, they just mix up some of this and, and patch it. If you get it too wet, getting it too wet is worse than adding a little water because once it's too wet, it's just, you're trying to mix dry ingredients in with the wet and it just, you can do it, but it just takes a long time. It's a lot of work. That's too wet. <laughs> so you want something that'll hold the, the brick. The brick, yeah. Okay, that's probably enough for now. Shovel it. All you really need to do is just spread it like this, about an inch thick, and it will ooze out as you put the bricks on. So we'll, we'll start with a little section like that. You want to stagger it. So that's going to go right over the, the seam. That's it. And you can sort of just kind of push it in like that. And then any extra, you know, you just kind of go like that. So and some people feel like you should take a little bit and just kind of do this with it to get a, to fill in the, the seam, which is fine. Then you just kind of set it in there. Again, and that's it. So just make sure you know, set it in. There you go. Good, beautiful. The next thing is is cutting your brick. You just kind of with your trowel or a a hammer, kind of just go around and score it. And you just kind of keep hitting it. So I know what I use is a hatchet. There we go. Just throw a little bit here. 
That's it. What happens is with staggering like that, it's pretty clear that it just makes it everything lock together. Yeah. Instead of put, putting mortar against there, you can go like this. Lay it near and push it up. Push it up. And the... Brings more to the... Yeah. When you plaster the wall, uh -huh. this axe is what they call tooth, meaning that it, it holds the plaster, this little hole here, it kind of, as you're plastering, it kind of uh, mushes in there and, and provides a, an anchor. I built my house. Did they, did they make all your bricks on your side? For your it's looks outside. like the adobes are, are a little high here. Just mush them down. There. How's that better? Hi, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> are you going to make some adobes? Yes. This is beautiful mortar, by the way. I want to, uh, <laughs> I want to thank Michael and Justin for... I mean, this is... You can just see it's the, it's the absolute perfect consistency. It spreads nicely. It does not too sticky. They, mm -hmm. they divide this, boy. See? Oh, you got it. Now put another adobe. Okay. Wow, this is just going. You see how quickly it goes? Yeah, mm -hmm. good job. Were you going to me up? It's better to have a gap here and have it. Okay. Yeah, I just filled in all the. That's good. It's all of a sudden became a trip. So you want it to be lined up here. It's okay to have a, you know, yeah, you just okay. fill that in. Fill in. Right. Okay. The, the ends up. It's yeah. all the same material. Like oh, said, yeah. 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 That's the Adobe has I'm glad that everything yeah. 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 came over all the way from Korea. All the way from Texas. All the way from Texas. And what are you doing in Texas? Uh, I'm studying community and regional planning in at UT Austin. Yeah, no. Is there any Adobe in Korea? There's Adobe sustainable housing. Hi. Do you enjoy? Yes, it's very fun. Yeah, it's very fun. Yeah. All right. Hey, what's up? You probably don't care, but it's Plum Bob on level. And are you the inspector? <laughs> yes, exactly. Awesome. I'm the engineering validation. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Dude. It's better to work, work, work by eye. eye. <laughs> So great, and we didn't have to string things. It's right on. Yeah, that happened. That's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wrong. It's not supposed to be that level. So how's Adobe and Hannah? It's going good. It's been very good. Oh yeah, everyone get on. Sometimes, I don't know, they had covering for part of the time, and then they got uncovered. Willem, why don't we get the whole class behind the wall?